Welcome to Library Time. It's James. Some of you may have thought my Wacky Wednesday book, um, This is Owl, may have been a little too wacky or too young for you. So maybe you want to learn more about owls or you just want to not such a wacky story. So I'll read you a book all about owls. And it is written and illustrated by Jim Arnowski. And so this is a book. Even the pictures are really cool. He did a great job drawing the pictures. I love um, the different paintings and drawing styles that he uses. Um, look at that. Wow. Um, but he tells us facts about the owls, okay? So it's not um, a fiction story. Um, it's actually nonfiction, which I, even though it doesn't have the real pictures, um, it there's the bottom of the owl. Look out to the bottom <laughs> with his feet. Have you ever wondered about owls or how many kinds of owls there are or where do they live or why are owls so, eyes so big or what do owls eat? Well, this book answers all these questions and more. It's all about owls. I don't know which we saw that in the title, right? Mm -hmm. Let's see, we can see that this is going to be a nonfiction story because it's going to tell us facts and real information about owls. Now, owls are birds of prey, which means they hunt, they kill, and eat small animals. Eagles and hawks are also birds of prey, but they are daytime birds. Owls are creatures of the night. After sleeping all day, they are awakened at dusk and hunt until dawn. So they sleep during the daytime, which makes them what? Nocturnal, very good. Now there are 134 species of owls in the world. These 12 show you just how different species, how different the species of owls are in size and color. Look at that. I mean, there's a mate, we have white ones, and then look how dark these are, and then look at their different shapes, their faces and their eyes, and then Look how huge these are. I know what this one is. And, I mean, it's so cool. I wish we had time where I could just tell you the sizes of every one of these. It's amazing how many different owls. 134 species of owls in the world. They live in all kinds of places from the desert to the Arctic tundra. And these are the North American owls. Each owl's name, average length, and habitat is listed near its picture. So I'll go slowly by where you can see the different owls and maybe you could pause it and read them if you want to or you want me to send you a picture of one I sure will because it's really interesting it's amazing all the different <coughs> excuse me owls there are all owls big and small have large round heads with flat facial disc sharply hooked beaks and big eyes that face forward you make your big owl eyes. Miss James has big eyes. Here is a saw a saw wet owl. Owl is how they look up close. Okay, this is what they look like up close. And although owls appear to be plump and heavy, they are they weigh very little. Okay, most of what you see is just loose, fluffy feathers. And underneath the feathers, this saw wet wet owl's body is about the same size as a robin's body. Isn't that crazy? Wow, it looks like it would be so big. Wow. It's amazing. I was like, um, so owls have two toes forward and two toes backwards. One rear toe on each foot can pivot forward. It's pretty cool. Interesting fact. And so this is the um this is the actual size, by the way. So right here, um, this is the actual size of this owl that we're discussing. Cool. So you see my hand. It's about this close to the same size as my hand. I'll leave this owl this. These so-called eared owls, or also known as horned owls, are named for the tufts of feathers on their heads that look like ears or horns. Wow. Look at these dark, big eyes. <gasps> they can their pupils, the dark part of their eyes, can widen almost the entire size of the eye, so it can gather up all the available light that's around. Wow. Do you know that actually the owl's ears are hidden right here? Like, we think this right here are the ears of the owls, but they're not. 
right here in the fold of the skin where that line is. You see this right there in that fold where that line is? That's actually where the ears are on the sides of that owl's heads. How cool is that? Owl's eyes are fixed in their sockets and they cannot move very much. To look from one side to another side, the owl must what? Actually turn its head. That's why you see owls going, ooh, 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 because it, it can't do that like we can. <laughs> so it can swivel its head around to look backwards. So it can go all the way back and look backwards. Wow. So like all birds, owls have a top, a bottom, and a third eyelid. The third eyelid is transparent and is only for cleaning and moistening the eyeball. So when their eye gets real dry, they'll use that third eyelid to come down and clean their eye and make it where it will be dry. Not only do owls have an excellent night vision, they also have a keen sense of hearing on the darkest nights, owls can locate and chase prey by sound alone. Certain species of owls, such as the snowy owl and the short-eared owl, hunt both day and night, but most owls are nighttime hunters. Animals that are most active at night are called nocturnal, which is what we talked about earlier. And there are two other nocturnal animals on this page. Can you find them? Well, you got to look at that page for a little bit. Did you see that? anything there? What about on this page? Do you see any nocturnal animals on this page? Hmm. You see, I see one. What is that? A raccoon. Yes, it is a nocturnal animal. Do you see the other one? Am I? I did not see the other one. Hmm. I'm sure y'all see it, and I'm not seeing it. I don't know why I can't remember what it was, but, um... I'm sure somebody will tell me. <laughs> um, I was thinking, is that a bat? I think that might be a bat. What do you think? I think that's a bat. It's got to be. And bats are nocturnal, so that's got to be what it is. Okay. Well, this is a great horned owl, by the way. That's what this one's called, is a great horned owl. Because owls are nocturnal, People rarely see them. The easiest way to tell which owls are living around you is to listen for their calls. So we, it might be who, 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 who. And then there's who, who, who. Ah, wah, ah. <laughs> so that's a screech owl. There's the great horn owl and the barn owl. And so these are just, and of course, Miss James is not something exactly like an owl, but. Um, this is kind of what they kind of sound like. Hoo, hoo. Can you do that owl sound? There are many different owl calls, as there are species of owls, but the three most commonly heard and the easiest to identify are the, th the three that we've talked about here. Owls can most frequently in late winter or early spring, which is, which, that's when they're calling, is late winter and early spring. That's their mating season. And throughout the rest of the year, pairs of owls call back and forth just to keep tabs on one another's movements. So they'll know where they are. <laughs> now, oh, look at these sweet babies. Oh my goodness. I first want to show you this. This is amazing. This is an actual size of a barred owl's egg with a peak at the hatchling inside. So you can kind of, I mean, it doesn't really look an owl in there, but you see that? Isn't that crazy? That's the size of the egg. So if I was holding it in my hand like that, and that's it's all wrapped up and they're really tight. Um, all owl eggs are white and almost round. The size of an owl egg depends on the size of the owl, of course. And depending on the species, owls lay anywhere from two to seven eggs at a time. Wow. And look, the barred owl's owlets in the tree. Look in their nest. Look at your sweet owls. Snowy owls and short-eared owls nest on the ground. Burrowing owls nest under the ground. And all other species of owls nest high up in the natural cavities of trees. Abandoned woodpecker holes or deserted crow or squirrel nests. Newborn owls are covered with soft downy feathers and they cannot fly when they're this young. At first, they, on they eat only food that is regurgitated ooh, or sp that means spit up by their parents. <laughs> 
very soon, the owlets are fed torn bits of prey. And at six weeks of age, the owls are big enough to fly and leave their nest and hunt for themselves. Wow. So in hunting, owls watch for any movement in the night and they listen for the rustling sounds of mice on the ground or the wafting sounds of moth wings in the air. And then owls eat more rodents than anything else. The smaller species of owls will eat insects, especially moths. They like moths. And larger owls also eat weasels, what? rabbits, <gasps> snakes, and other birds, including smaller owls. What is happening? An owl uses its beak to pick apart large prey, and small animals are swallowed whole. Indigestible bones and fur, that means when they, their stomach can break it up so that they can, you know, use the bathroom. So that means that they have to cough it up and it forms it into a compact wide called a pellet. So this is kind of, this is like a pellet of the, the bones and fur of a mouse. And so, ooh, yeah. Kind of gross. I hope you didn't just see. <laughs> I hope you're not eating now while I'm watching the story. <laughs> So, ooh, do you know what birds those are? Crows. Yeah. Look, owl. This is a great horned owl right here. It's really pretty. An owl is a crow, crow's worst enemy. Night hunting owls pounce on sleeping crows. Owls raid the nest of the crows and other birds. If an owl is discovered by a crow during daylight hours, the entire flock of crows will moth the owl, repeatedly diving at its head to drive it away. So during the day, owls always try to stay out of sight. Mm, definitely. Wow. Now in North America, it is against the law for any person to harass or harm owls. Owls are just as beneficial to in cities as they are in the countryside. Look, they're sleeping. Because they feed mainly on rodents, this helps keep the rodent population under control. So we need the owls to help us with that. And of course, wherever they live, owls add a sense of mystery to the sounds and silence of the night. In the country where, where I used to live, you'd hear the hoo, hoo. I like hearing that. It's pretty. And that's called a barn owl. Pretty owl. <gasps> Look. My mom has a painting very similar to this with the owl. And it's like a silhouette almost like, like that hanging over the um, bed in her guest bedroom. I brought back a memory right there. That's our, it'll be um, man that wrote the book and drew the pictures. So that's him. And he really um, liked to learn about owls. That's why he did this. So um, he went and photographed them, the owls himself. And then he sketched and painted those owls that he had videotaped on his, you know, when he, um, recorded it and you've probably seen this book in the library and then there's also books that he's done like all about deer and all about alligators and all and there's others like that and um, that he has done the same way and I know those are very popular books in the library for you to check out so that's a pretty cool um, book about owls I know we read a fun one earlier and then I mean we've got oh, we got owls like this and I've got I didn't realize how many owl Look at this. I'm just going to show you this. Look how cute. There's your baby owls. You know where we saw the drawing earlier? Well, that's, a, that's a real picture. And so there's, um, they're so beautiful. And when we do this lesson um, in um, the library, whenever I do this with my kid, my classes, we um, look at all the different people. Like I show you videos and we really talk a lot about them. And um, these were neat because you can see how they camouflage in. Isn't that cool? So I look forward and I love this book too. It's just um at the different um real pictures and um, there's so many on the internet where you can look and this is a funny one for us to end with. Um look at that. Ah! <laughs> I always get a kick out of that one. Ah! So um Anyway, owls are really cool, and um, I'll look forward to doing um, owl lessons with you in the future in the library. 
one day, hopefully soon. All right, well, I hope you have a great day, and I miss you lunches, and have a wacky Wednesday. Love you. Bye.